you know what we're staying at under canvas? Well, there is a hospital in exit 65. Down at the Hoover Dam. Today, right now, we're gonna. She's biking the trail. Biking. <laughs> okay, today we're at the Calico Ghost Town, and it's a ghost town in uh, Southern California, and it's right up here in the hills. And we're gonna take a tour of the ghost town and take some pictures and video. So we want you to take a tour with us, and I hope you enjoy it. I had to hurry up and finish before that guy went by. Oh, the only no. car that comes no, by. This, this Calico Ghost Town was in existence somewhere between 1881 to 1890 during the Silver Rush. And as the Silver Rush, or excuse me, as the price of silver went down, the town kind of dwindled. And this guy, I, I, I believe his name was like Walter Knotts. I'll, I'll put it down below if I don't have it right here. Uh, but he bought it in 1950 and restored all but five of the buildings to original. So it, it is a ghost town in the sense that this is a town that was here, but it's not been truly abandoned. And this is quite a flight of stairs. I'm sick, like my sinus. Is. But there it is up on top. You see, it's down here in this valley. Look at that. It stretches all through here. It's really yeah. pretty. There's something about the air or difference here because uh you know at home you don't see us run out of breath like this going to places well too i'm congested really bad well that had a little bit to do with the two on the floor look at that valley down there and i guess that's the town of calico down there it is no no, that's it? Barstow. That's Barstow. The outer edges. Okay, okay. This is the only. Oh, geez, I think these stairs are 5,000 feet. <laughs> now we're here. Oh. I need my breath. It's early in the morning. There's not a lot of folks here. So we're probably not going to get into all of the buildings. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Calico lives again. Walter Knott, I think I did have it right. Now you can tell the story. So yeah, this, so yeah, Walter Knott's the gentleman that purchased it in the 1950s. He bought all this land, restored all but five of the buildings. So essentially, this is what the town looked like, less asphalt, in 1891. It's an old... What is that, a water wheel? It looks like sorting. it. We'll start down this way. It looks like an old sorting wheel. Banjos and blues. Let me take a picture. You're going to be stopping a lot for me to take this. So. Right? Guys, it's really windy up here, so I'm going to do everything I can. I'm hoping the wind's not going to sound so bad in the video. I'm going to do everything I can to edit the wind out. It is a nice up here. It really is. It's probably, what, 15 mile an hour winds at the moment. But this is beautiful. And this is the old sidewalk and street down through here. Calico Woodworks. Mine tours. 
I don't know if I want to go on a mine tour. I don't either. It said, you know, if you see in the mines, they're all pretty dangerous. Don't go in. Then I don't want a tour of one. Exactly. It's beautiful. Now, out of the structures here, I can tell you that that one is not old at all. The park office. They used old wood, but the, the building is not old construction. This is pretty old, this building. It is. Stucco is like the big thing out here, and that's like the ancient type of stucco. You can stay right there. Hold on. There you go. Nice view going up in the middle of the street. The leather and works in an Indian trading post here. So a lot of this place must open up with gift shops and I know there's a restaurant up here too. Like I said, when we're doing these videos, we're not doing this so that we show you everything that you can have. We want to salt your oats to say, let's use a western term, let's salt their oats. Make them interested and want to come and check it out for themselves to study it out. Exactly. And, and I encourage you, if you're ever in California, stop by some of these parks. They're great and it's... It's going to one day be lost history. I got a picture up here. That's beautiful. It is. Wow, biscuits and gravy out here. And this was the um, Calico House, which would have been the hotel and brothel. You know? Mm hmm. It would have been a brothel, guys. I don't care what you say. It's just a fact of life. Oh, that is really pretty. This is a nice little area. See this old equipment? Yeah, let's Look get at some this equipment. Let me get some pictures. I don't think that's John Deere at all. No, I. I don't think that's John Deere. I don't know. I don't know what that make is. That's that's new to me. Like almost like it. It has an Alice Chalmers design to it. That's a big engine, kind of like what we saw in that train over at um, West Blockton when we did the Coke ovens. If you guys haven't seen that Coke All oven right. video, yeah. go ahead and watch it. That's a great video, and you'll see some old machinery like that there, too. Now, look, this is the fire hall, guys. That is cool. See if they would have had one of these in Chicago. Mrs. O'Leary's cow wouldn't have been so bad. <laughs> Here. You know, maybe that's what we need to do one day is if we ever get up to Chicago, we'll go through that area and do the story of Mrs. O'Leary. Yeah. Lucy Bell Lane, Calico's most distinguished and long time resident. She was queen of Calico. And that was her home. Oh. Lucy's house. Original site. Restored for her honor. I love the old building. It almost looks like Roman concrete. That's the red color to it. Restored 1979. Which this all goes back to that uh, Walter Knotts getting a lot of this restored. 
I know, it's good that we have people like that that'll go out and buy these places and restore them for everyone else to enjoy. Oh, a telegraph office. Oh, no. All of this is amazing. I mean, just think about it, Jennifer. You and I were born relatively short after the telephone became popular. But before that, everybody had to wait for a while. So they would come here and get their gold and silver changed in, right here. Mm -hmm. Then go to the telegraph office and then we're our home saying they're rich. And for a while, silver was just about as uh, valuable as gold. And I don't know if it was the fact that they realized there was such a quantity of it and everybody could acquire it that made the price go down. But that happened somewhere in the 1890s. The price of silver just bottomed out. But you know, a lot of people don't know that in California, gold bottomed out for a while. Even in like the 1800s, there was so much gold in people's hands out here. Like breakfast would cost you $5. That's the equivalent of going and buying breakfast with today for, you know, 25 bucks for just two eggs and, and, and some meat. Yeah. That, it's almost like that though All right. well, it is again but I mean back then it was just gold was so abundant drill steel blasting powder here's the sheriff's office come on the doors closed but we are open that's the saloon see the skeleton in the yes. window Calico Candle Shop. Here's the saloon. Pretty skeleton. Skeleton in the window. Right. I'll leave mine in the closet, thank you very much. Look at this old jail thing. Oh, I'm gonna get in there and let you take a picture. You set up. All right, guys, and if you want one of these handy little jail cells too, you can have one for $4.99.95. Just contact me later. I'll even make sure that that other bar is there. Yeah, so it keeps on the inside. Let's see, Maggie, mine, Odessa, our railroad, or rest of your life. And the bottle house. Oh, there's a bathhouse. Look at that. There's the water tower. I kind of like what you build at home. It's kind of like if you ever watched MASH. Yeah, it's almost like that system that we built uh, on our Homestead channel. Yeah. But if you ever watch MASH, how they had to stand and pull the handle to get the shower to work, that's all that was. The only difference is that water was ice cold. And standing in this wind, I would not want to shower. It's the blacksmith shop. See if we can walk over and peek inside. Always, you know, I always love the forging and the blacksmithery. Really neat. Yeah. That old anvil's pretty cool. There's the church house, the little school and church house. I've got to hook up our battery. Interesting front. You can 
It looks like they tried to do that cement in with the board to seal the cracks. That's pretty neat. Oh my goodness, I thought your dad was standing there. <laughs> Nothing to frighten children or adults. It is simply amazing, amusing, and confusing. <laughs> okay, so this was a hotel built into the rocks in 1881 called the Hyena House. And this is what's left of it. Wow. That was a hotel. That is an ooh, ooh. That building there's coming down. Yep. They might um They yeah. might be restoring it. Yeah. I'm walking over to this. Yeah, it looks like that whole porch roof is shifted. Probably the wind. Oh, and up there's employees only. I really love the church and probably schoolhouse. Yeah, but they're not going to... I think the bridge is out. And the bridge is out. Let's see. That's okay. I can get close enough to get some pictures. We can zoom in on it, I guess. Bluegrass time. That's a new building. Huh? This building here is a new building. This is close. So I'm gonna get this as close as I can. School bridge. It was a schoolhouse, but I'm sure that is also a church. Unfortunately, we're in one of the states here that uh, is trying to outlaw the sale of the Bible, and that's a sad thing. But that's the importance of state rights. That's just lookout point. That's the exit to the mine from the mine. There's a mine. Maggie Mine Tour. And that's just the lookout point. Now, if you guys are here, I encourage you go check the mine out. And if you do a video in the mine, post it and tag us so that we can check it out too. Yeah. Let's walk this way and we'll see the entrance to it, I guess. At least it's not hot. No, it's not hot. I'm, I'm quite cool. Wait a second. There you go. I know that desert bug. I don't know what you could get from that. I had a bug on me? Yes. Whoa. Oh. This is careful with your footing up here. I am. I already thought you were going to say it. It looks like we could take this trail around and walk up that way. Yeah, just down and around and walk our way out. And this is what it's really like walking around in these hills. Uh-oh, I see a cave. Uh-oh. Oh. That's it. They probably started a mine or something there. Well, 
like I say, they were probably starting a new mine or something, and then the price of silver fell, and they just, because the town was abandoned. See, that's what the mine is. Yeah, somewhere in the 1890s. Uh, 1891 is what they, they say, but I'm sure there were people that lived here, you know, up to 1900 or better. Yeah. Try to be careful. Slippery slope here. How massively cool is that? I want to take pictures. You know, I understand why people would build their house off the side of a cliff like that. Yeah. We're going to go over there and film, or we'll take a break over there and then pick back up to go out. Okay? All right. Quick five minutes, sit down, and now we'll uh, go back through the town, and there's a really cool graveyard uh, that we're going to check. And, and like, these hills are steep, so give us a second to get down here. Give me a hand. This is like a straight, and these boots don't have any dig in them. They're not made for this, they're made for, <coughs> you'll see, I used them in the ocean, they're made for that, but they're not made for uh, dirt and rock. <coughs> You know, I don't know if they have creosote out here, but I don't think they really needed it. Oh, he's got lots of gold. Here, pay my picture by the man with lots of gold. Right? Of course. Yes. Obvious, friend. <laughs> you want to do one? Yeah. Sure. What do you want me to buy? Oh, the gold itself. I got my silver ore right now. There you go. That's good with that lantern. Look at that lantern side right above your head. <laughs> Pretty good. Let's see which way we need to go. That goes back down to that canyon. Let's yeah, go this way. Down in the canyon today. No, we're going back to the cemetery. You want to cut out and then cut back in at the cemetery? I think no, we that's, solved that. Not this. a bad idea. Let's go ahead. We'll cut out right here. Yeah. Now we're picking back up at the Calico Cemetery. And guys, it is very, very windy out here. So let's give this a shot. Jason lost his hat twice and went running for it. So we'll see how, how this goes. Listen to that gauge. Wow. Let me do a scan around here so you can get you can see this. Wow. This is really neat It's beautiful, isn't it? There's a lot of grain out there. I see that, yeah. I don't see any markers. But you can go to the Find the Grave website and put in any cemetery and it'll tell you who's buried there and exactly where they're buried. Here's one. Twenty eleven. Yeah. This is still in use. This or not T forty three dot twenty eleven. Yeah, they said it's an active cemetery still. So you might find some markers in some of them. You know? You know now, my understanding is the reason that they pile the rocks up like this is to keep that um, animals from digging them up out of the ground and to keep erosion and stuff from uncovering them. Right, that, that's my understanding. And, you know, because the soil's too hard to dig. Yeah. I mean, now, I mean, I'm sure that a backhoe can probably dig up proper depth right now. Look at these old ones. These are old ones. Let me see what that says. 1879 to 1898. His name was Remy 
Olivier Jr., born May the 3rd, 1879, died March 1898. It's amazing, right? It is. Here lies Jeremiah Mountain Man in 1928 to 2005. <laughs> I bet you with a name like Jeremiah Mountain Man, he has some history to him. If anyone watching this video knows about Jeremiah Mountain Man, we would like to know. We would love to know. So his far, his real name is Erwin Gornawat. I can't even pronounce that. Gornawas. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Here's a pastor, Coy Hardwick. Guys, something we were talking about on the way down here, you know, every cemetery doesn't have to have an interview or a talk. Sometimes going to a cemetery is just appreciating the beauty yes. and remembering the people. Like, this is so old and historic, I just wanted to see it and look at the history. You know, it's great to know where we came from. That's really old. Now, what we need to do is be building on the values these people and moving forward not perverting everything. Death Valley Helen. Okay. Tumbleweed Harris. Marshall of Calico for seven years. Oh, Marshall. Eighteen six eighteen seventy four to eighteen sixty nine. Somebody broke their chains and got out. I guess. And I guess with the uh, songs being around here, that's pretty much our cue. It's time to head on, right? Yeah, let's go. Let's see how far we can get. All right.